are here in Lofoten, up in the very northern part of Norway. It's absolutely beautiful. We're sitting here on the rooftop right now of the brand new Ton Hotel in Svolvar. I mean, just look at this location. It's hard to beat. These majestic mountains behind me, these crystal clear fjords. I can't wait to get out and explore. Hopefully we can take a boat out and cruise around, maybe even go on a fishing boat. That's one of the unique things that this hotel offers is an excursion where you can fish, then you can come back and learn how to fillet your fish. Then you can eat the fish that you caught for dinner in the brasserie. I'm really looking forward to that. While we're here, we're also gonna go up to Kvitnesgård, which is the most famous restaurant in the area. We're gonna stay at the farm and we're gonna have an amazing tasting menu. Suddenly we heard piano music playing. It came from a boat docked by the hotel. All rooms here are equipped with binoculars, so you can fully take in the view. Don't miss out on the room service breakfast. And for lunch, you want to check out the pizza made in a wood-fired stone oven by a real Italian pizziolo. In the evening, you can enjoy the fish you caught earlier. The chefs gave it around in the Jasper Grill and served it with chanterelles and a sauce of shellfish. Ready for a road trip? I'm ready. You're all driving. Right. Yep, I'm, I'm driving. I'm in the passenger seat, taking it all in. We got a two hour drive ahead of us. But it should be beautiful. Scenic routes. Through mountains, underwaters. In tunnels, over fjords. Oh yes, that's driving in Norway. Where are we going? Kvitnaskog in Vesterålland. Why? To eat, of course. I heard they had some good food there. It looks amazing. Let's go see. We are here in Vesterålen in the north of Norway to have dinner at Kvitnesgård, which is an old farmhouse turned into a restaurant. Chef Halvor Allingsson worked for 10 years in Oslo at some of the best restaurants in town before deciding to come back to his roots here in Kvitnes at his great great granddad's old farm. He's rebuilt it and turned it into an amazing food destination. This is farm to table in the truest sense of the word. They grow all their own vegetables and use their own animals to craft an exceptional tasting menu. And then if you stay the night, you can have an amazing farm breakfast in the morning. My name is uh, Halvard Ellingsen, and this is Kvitna Squash. So my great, great granddad built the farm in the start of the 1800s. So in the, in the first floor, it's the restaurant. On the second floor, we have five uh, double rooms. And we have 10 more rooms in different kind of buildings around the farm. So we really like people to come here and stay for overnight and to give us one day of their life so we can spoil them and show them. Aller først får dere uh, tre runder med snacks. Først litt uh, råe grønnsaker. Sukkerepper som vi plukket i formiddag. Så en liten bunt med forskjellige salater og urter. Inni der så er det en liten sånn urte. Majonnais, du skal få de ting fra fjerde havet, og så skal du få de ting fra skogen, for dere får ordentlig mat og bestikk, og det er vanlig å kjøre der. Kvittnes Gård er mange ting, men mest er det en farm med en restaurant. Så vi har lambs, hens, quails, cows og pigs. Straight fra quails. Chips med Bali, og majonnais med seaweed. Alt av grønnsaker dere får i dag er fra gården, plukket i formiddag stort sett. Noe som er preservert litt, men alt er fra i år. Elgen er den helge som er gården skutt rett bort i svingen. Alt av råvarer vi bruker er fra Vesterålen, Lofoten og Senja. Vi kjøper sukker og salt, vi har bedre ting å ta oss til enn å koke sjøvann og dyrke sukkerrør og de tingene der. The bread, uh, it's inspired by traditional Sami hanno bread. After we bake it and grill it, we brush it with truffle seaweed. And the butter is uh, from a local farm, it's a single cow butter.
Penajat. Tastes like, tastes like Penajat. Mm. The childhood memories. The halibut uh, is one of the same traditions we do. Uh, we, do we buy as small as possible, uh, around six kilos, and then we salt it for for two hours, and we grill it with a lot of hay, so we get like this really intense smoked flavor. And we started with a sauce made of almost burned cream and almost burned butter, and with the mackerel garlic we make. We need to use the whole animal, so. Um, we split up the main course in two different servings. The first servings being like, uh, can be heart or kidneys or yeah, whatever. And the other part is like tough meat that needs a lot of cooking. So we boil them and then we deep fry them sourdough afterwards. And then we're serving like more kind of straight main course dish afterwards. So uh, lamb shoulder grilled all day. Uh, with the kale, parsley, and a so uh, sauce made of lamb, whey, and brown butter. Uh, another signature dish we have is a blood pancake with uh, black currant and salted lamb. Ice cream made of uh, goat uh, yogurt uh, and uh, Pinches. It feels so right for cleanness since we're using like the blood and salted lamb and uh, the black currants and goat cheese in the ice cream. And it's been with us since we opened, um, and I think it's gonna stay <laughs> for a long time. Thanks for following along on our adventures in Lofoten. See you next time, Svolvar! If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andershusa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching.